Microcalorimeters are important tools in the protein stability studies. There's typically two cell designs, coin-shaped cell and capillary cell. Now, the capillary cell is favored over the coin-shaped cell due to its ease of sample loading, ease of cleaning, high sensitivity. But the most overlooked advantage is the fact that it is designed to inhibit protein aggregation. Now let me show you this. Scientists are familiar with the endothermic process due to protein unfolding. Now what can happen, sometimes does in coin-shaped cells, is you get the exothermic process of protein precipitation, typically followed by a very noisy baseline. Even the manufacturers of these coin cells say this effect results in a nearly impossible data analysis. Minimizing precipitation is necessary for accurate results. Now let me show you a real world example of this. Here we take a protein, we run it in a coin shaped cell. We see two unfolding events. The problem is the second unfolding event is immediately followed by precipitation, making data analysis impossible. We take this same sample, run it in a capillary cell, and we clearly see two unfolding events with a nearly perfect baseline before and after the transition, making data analysis possible. The capillary cell in the nano DSC from TA Instruments inhibits protein aggregation, it's easy to load, easy to clean, has very high sensitivity. Scientists can get away with using as little as two micrograms of protein. That's the TA difference.